find a template for the website. I recommend doing this at the beginning of the site uh, for several reasons. You may want to find you may find a template that you like, and then install it, and then decide, well, I want to change it, and you'll go to another template and go back to the old one and find out that all of your site, um, all of your styling changes have been uh, erased. So you may want to just find a template that you really want and stick with it. If you do feel that you're going to go back and forth, you're going to want to back up your site. And I will show you that in a future tutorial. But um, for the most part, I would just find a template and stick with it until you're done and then start backing up your site uh, regularly at that point. So there are several places you can get templates from. You can go to Template Monster. Uh, theme Forest, they have a lot of Joomla templates, and uh, SiteGround has a few uh, free templates you can go get. Uh, I'm actually going to download one here on this tutorial. Free templates tend to not have very many, actually probably don't have any uh, parameters that you can switch, like color schemes. Uh, most commercial ones that you purchase do have uh, different color schemes that you can choose from, uh, but free ones most most of the time don't have that. So just to be aware of that, uh, you're going to have to do a lot of editing um, on your own to match your company uh, look and feel if you get a free template. So I'm going to show you how to go onto a site like SiteGround and get a template installed into your website and have that as a template first. So I'm just going to preview one of these. So I'll click preview here. Okay, this is a pretty uh, nice free template. So I'm going to go back and click download. And this site always asks you for your name and email. Okay, so they sent me an email, and I can see that right here. And I'll just go to my email. Okay, so as you can see, it downloaded as a zip file. Uh, most, actually all, I believe all uh, Joomla templates come as zip files. Unless the zip file says unzip me on the file name, you're pretty much going to just leave it the way it is and upload it as a zip file. So I'm going to go back to my site and go to Template Manager. And I've already uploaded a couple of them here. So I'm going to do another one right now. And I'll go to install and uninstall. And click choose file. So I know it's site point or site ground, sorry. So I believe this is it. Click grouping. And I'll click upload file and install. Okay, so it says install template success. And now we're going to go back to template manager, click that. And there it is. Yep. So now I'm going to click on the radio button next to it and click default.
and now this is my default template and I'll press preview to see that. Yay, so it worked. So if that's how if you do find a template that you like, um, you can just um, go to the site, download it, if you have to purchase it first, then purchase it and then download it and then just upload it through the install uninstall and then uh, just go to template manager and make that your default template so that's one way of doing it another way is to just use one of the three templates that come with uh, Joomla as you can see this is the first one that we had that's the default one the Milky Way uh, template and then there's JA Purity and then there's the bees uh, template so just to take a look at what they look like I'll just make this default the bees template and let's refresh our site and that's a very nice um, upbeat colorful template And JA Purity default. I'll refresh the page again. And this is also a pretty nice uh, template. I actually already changed it to green. It's normally a black um, background here, but. Uh, I changed it to green already, so that's why it's green. So this is the one I'm going to use. This is, this is actually the template that I've used for my own website. It's a pretty simple, um, nice layout, so I like this. And this is what we're going to use for the uh, tutorials to show you how to make a pretty basic uh, uh, blog type of website. So that's it for this tutorial, and bye.